Yo, it's me, VZ, and today I will show you how to install the lockdown password protection at your permanent patched PlayStation Portable. Usually this software is just for the older PSPs which have the CIPL, custom CIPL which isn't possible to use at near PSPs like this PSP Go. At first I will change the USB device to flash zero. Keep in mind that you have to deactivate the protect flash feature of the Pro custom firmware and then USB connect. Okay, there we go. We have the flash zero files right here. And we have the lockdown files here. First I'm gonna copy this lockdown tmh file into the root of the flash zero. It's pretty important. Don't copy it in a folder. It need to be and the root. So if you have it here, like drive F, C would be the memory stick and uh, E would be the memory stick and F is at the moment the flash zero. Next we need to enter the module for either you have to disable you have to disable at your PC that it hides hidden and system files so you need to be able to view system files and hidden files otherwise you can write in this bar slash module and it should open the folder there we have PSH auric, PSH main, satellite and recovery at first we're gonna rename the VSH original firmware, uh, PRX file to VSH main real. It's very important that we do not touch the VSH main file. If we touch this file, the PSP will break. Next we use the file, it's already renamed, usually it's named vshmain.prx. It's the lockdown file. You have to rename the vshmain.prx into vshauric. I did this. And we're gonna copy it to the flash zero. Usually it's also possible to um, use the lockdown for the recovery menu, but you will get a um, debug error message at the Pro Custom Firmware <coughs> if you use lockdown for the recovery menu, so we don't do it at the moment. So we did not touch the VSH main, Re we renamed the VSH auric into VSH main real and the VSH main of the lockdown is renamed into VSH auric. So that's pretty much what we did. Well then, let's reboot. It shouldn't be bricked. It should work. and it's working no brick as password I may use two times the up button you have to press buttons as a password like L R X and then triangle or such I just use two times up and then confirm it with start then you can 
choose if the password show only if you boot the console or always it's the XMB. I will choose always. So that was it. <coughs> now the PlayStation Portable is password protected. We're still running 6.20 Pro C permanent and it's not bricked even if we touch some flash zero files. I'm gonna launch this game and when we exit the game it should ask for the password. Oops, that was the save feature. Okay. There we go. It still wants the password. If you choose um, the option I choose, the always um, at the XMB option, it will always ask you for the. Yes, don't display again. Um, it will always ask you for the password if you exit a game, a homebrew, a PS1 game or another thing. Um, the reason to not use the password protection for the recovery menu is you will, won't be able to boot or fast access the recovery menu from the XMB if you do it and you won't be able to boot into the recovery menu because some internal um, let's say misfunctions, you will get a debug error code if you change the recovery menu file into the lockdown recovery menu file. So next I'm gonna <coughs> shut it down and I'm gonna start the recovery menu. should have boot the recovery menu, not the firmware, I'm gonna check it again. R and booting, waiting and nope, it doesn't boot the recovery menu. Um, if you use this lockdown patch, it seems that you can't access rec the recovery menu. And if you forget your password, you could be screwed because you can't access the recovery menu and shut down. May it's possible to launch the, um, Original Fimer, I guess it was booting while pressing select. Yes, it was booting while pressing select, but you change the file in the flash zero and therefore it doesn't boot. So, um, shutting down. Yes, you can password protect your newer device, but you won't be able to launch your recovery menu from the startup, and you won't be able to launch the original firmware, which are two negative aspects, but it actually does its work. No one can use your PlayStation Portable if they don't know the password, even without the recovery menu. Um, lockdown file, it's working since the recovery menu seems to not be working. Um, if you want to uninstall this lockdown patch, you s check the um, readme file or the description of the video. Um, it's not that hard. So, 
that was pretty much the video and very important do not uninstall the permanent patch while having the lockdown in the flash zero if you want to get rid of the permanent patch update your PSP and then re-downgrade it or check the description or the readme file for the uninstall instructions do not just uninstall the permanent patch it, it will break your PSP so that was it pretty much have fun with your PlayStation Portable and enjoy your password protection <laughs>